Welcome, this is Rachel Villarreal. I am a clinical assistant professor at UTRGV and I am going to speak to you today about our Bachelor of Science in Nutritional Sciences and I want to start off by speaking a little bit about nutrition just to get you interested. So, um, you know, everything on, right now on our minds is staying healthy, staying um, active so that we can fight, you know, diseases like COVID-19 and flu and, and um, of course, diabetes and hypertension and that type of thing. So um, what I want to focus on for just a couple of minutes before I tell you about our BSNS is nutrition on the immune system. So of course, it's completely essential for a healthy immune system to eat properly. You want good, good nutrition because it offers that protection against, you know, invading illnesses. Also, no one food or supplement can just be, you know, a magic pill to prevent illness, but a combination of a lot of different nutrients can be. So it's important to include an overall, you know, healthy eating plan with a variety of things. Some key nutrients, though, that play a role in immunity are things like vitamin A, because they regulate the immune system and protect against infections. Of course, our skin and tissue and our mouth and stomach and intestines, but our, also our respiratory system, which is really important right now. So things like sweet potatoes, carrots, broccoli, spinach, red bell peppers, you know, think of those really br bright colors, things that are, you know, orange and red. Um, are great. Also vitamin C, and I'm sure a lot of people know about vitamin C. Of course, it supports our immune system by stimulating our antibodies, but you can find this in things like citrus fruit, which in the Rio Grande Valley we have a lot of, you know, oranges, grapefruits, tangerines, and of course, again, red bell peppers. There's those again, tomatoes, strawberries, and foods that are fortified. Another great nutrient is vitamin E. It, it works as an antioxidant and there's a lot of fortified cereals that have vitamin E, but also things like sunflower seeds, almonds, hazelnuts, and peanut butter. Um, a couple of other nutrients uh, is zinc, or one other nutrient is zinc. It helps our immune system to properly uh, work and also helps in wound healing. Um, a lot of us get enough zinc because, you know, it's in meat and poultry and seafood and milk. Um, so what I would recommend is like increasing those whole grains, beans, seeds, and nuts to include the zinc. Also, garlic. It's actually been shown to help boost the disease-fighting response to viruses. So, you know, having a lot of fresh garlic and recipes and things like that. A couple of other two, uh, two other nutrients are ginger and turmeric, and they can help to reduce inflammation. And so that helps just to keep our immune system healthy overall. Some couple of yummy recipes that I've made recently. Um, last night I made tandoori chicken, which has a lot of those uh, good nutrients in there, specifically a lot of garlic, uh, a lot of uh, turmeric, and um, a lot of other spices. And of course you have your beans and your protein there too. And then another dish that I made was chili, but instead of just, you know, using a lot of meat, adding those reds and yellows and greens and uh, and white uh, to get all those antioxidant properties, vitamin A, vitamin E, and then of course a bunch of garlic as well, some fresh garlic. So that was just a little introduction to let you know how important nutrition is. So a little bit more or a little overall about our uh, BSNS, our Bachelor of Science in Nutritional Sciences. It is a four-year program. It will prepare the students to be experts in the field of nutrition, food management and technology, and also nutrition and wellness. It will promote skills required to provide nutrition care and conduct innovative research to meet healthcare, food service, and physical activity needs of culturally di diverse communities. So we do have four tracks, and so you would choose one of these tracks. The first track is nutrition, which uh, gives you the basic nutrition knowledge. Um, it also speaks about, uh, teaches you about integrative nutrition, community uh, nutrition, and clinical nutrition knowledge and skills. 
goes a little bit into education and counseling. And basically you are planning to work as a nutritionist or pursue further higher education, maybe as a registered dietitian for this track. We also have the food technology and management track. That one, um, if you plan to pursue a career in the food industry, maybe in marketing of foods, quality, quality control of the food industry uh, and produce are also research. Nutrition and fitness. This will be a combination of nutrition and exercise sciences. So you'll have subjects that would include uh, physical fitness, physiology testing, and nutrition diet prescription for wellness and sports performance. So if this is, uh, if you plan to go more toward a, a career goal of sport, fitness, and nutrition, this would be your option. Lastly, we have um, our honors track, which is basically the coursework from the nutrition track with an additional concentration of nutritional research. So you'll plan to maybe go on to pursue your master's or your PhD, and you want to really get in on a lot of the nutritional research that's going on. Some of the career opportunities that you can have after graduating, um, catering or restaurant consultant, uh, corporate or wellness consultant. I know uh, I've had some students that have gone on to work at like big corporations like USAA in San Antonio, um, food inspectors, food product development scientists, health food industry sales, a nutrition assistant in a hospital, or nutrition health and educator, nutrition health writer. Also some other ones there, you can see there's a whole list. Um, if you can even go into zoo, being a zoo nutritionist because we do have a course on um, nutrition and animals. So with the average salary of a nutritionist would be around 61,000. Um, depending on what area you go into. So more, uh, the higher end would be more toward the food service, um, being a manager, being a supervisor, uh, that would be the higher end. And then um, being toward the middle would be your, your WIC, your public health nutritionist, um, maybe working uh, for corporate wellness or as a health educator. So if you wanted to take your education further after having a BSNS, of course, you could go to graduate school and that's where you could become a registered dietitian. So you have to go to an accredited, uh, ascend accredited program in order to sit for the registered dietitian examination. And with that, you could go into being uh, licensed and that could, and then you could work in a hospital. Also, uh, other avenues, you could go into graduate school, uh, being a food scientist, or just go into uh, getting your master's or PhD in nutrition. Also, there's a lot of students that like this foundation of the BSNS going into medical school, PA, dental, or veterinary school, because it relies heavily on science. And then you have that great foundation to help your patients nutritionally, as well as uh, you know, with traditional medicine. So they really do well together. So the admissions process, we do have an application and you can see that there is a uh, website there that you can go to to download the application so that you could fill it out. You do need a letter indicating your interest in joining and why. So we want to know, you know, kind of the reasons you would like to join the BSNS. We need a copy of your transcripts. If you do have any college level classes, um, you want to start off by doing your biologies and your chemistries and your math courses because they're kind of the foundation of nutritional sciences. Um, after you complete the application, then you want to send it to our program director, who is Dr. Uh, Banu, and it has her address there. So some tips for success in the program. Stay focused. Uh, look at what you need to take because some, some courses um, rely on other courses. So you want to take uh, food preparation before you take experimental foods. So you want to make sure you're uh, following your degree plan. You want to make a plan for studying because the, the coursework is rigorous. So you want to kind of plan out your semester so you know when your exams are, when your assignments are, and keep a calendar of those. And of course, you want to eat well and exercise. You want to stay healthy 
um, so that uh, your, you know, your brain works right. You can have those tests taking, um, all immune system very well kept. Also in high school, what you want to focus on is your math and your science. So you want to make sure that you're understanding the basics of, you know, biology and chemistry, and then of course your math as well. So for any uh, more contact information uh, that you would like to have for the BSNS, you can contact Dr. Banu, who, like I said, is the program director. Dr. Lisa Salina, she can help as well. Miss Sylvia Garcia, she's in our, uh, she's our secretary in our department. And um, we have her, the room number there and the phone number.